you know, usually it's up, the school should have programs in there geared towards, especially for Aiden that he's starting now. They'll start evaluating him to see where they think he may fit. Like, do they see him capable of holding a job? So they'll put him in a program or work him towards getting to that point that once he graduates, he can go into supported employment. And that's so what and that's they, something that they do before the, they graduate. Like this year, Dylan, this is Dylan's last year. So I'm already going to start. They're going to start to, tra as soon as September starts, we're working on transition. That's the goal their last school year, transition. Because once they're in school till they're 21, there's really not much more they're going to learn. I'm going to be honest. There's not much more they're going to learn. It's getting them ready to move out of the board of ed world and into the real world. So, okay. uh, you know, it's, it, it, there should be a, tr every district 75 school at a high school level should have a transition coordinator. Um, and you should reach, you don't have to wait for them to reach out to you. You can reach out to them and say, I know he doesn't graduate for another four or five years, but this is, everybody knows me as I plan five years ahead for my kids. Um, I'm sorry. Once they turn, um, 17 or 17 and a half, you can start the paperwork for guardianship. Please, please, please do not wait to get guardianship. Yeah. Yes. Our kids are 18, even though they have a disability, a documented disability, they are considered legally adults. That means unless you have a guardianship in place, you cannot speak for them on behalf of Social Security. You cannot speak on behalf of them for medical reasons. I want to, yeah, I want to chime in with that. Um, I know of a case of a mom of a, of a girl with autism who they will not let the mom put her on birth control, nor will they let the mom put an IUD. Because she doesn't have the guardianship. And she's had, because she doesn't have the guardianship and she's 21 and she has already had two children who the mom is now responsible for in addition to her daughter. Oh, wow. Okay.